So just before we get into the video, I want to let you guys know this is my third time filming this. So hopefully, third time is the charm. If not, this is going to suck. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kim Santos. If you're new or if you're not new, hey, welcome back. Thank you so much for coming back. I haven't uploaded in three months. I think my last upload was September. Before we get into this, I just want to let all my subscribers know I'm so sorry. Life's gotten super busy. I just went full time at my current job. So that's been a full 40 hours a week and my schedule's everywhere. There's some days I close, there's some days I open, some days I work weekends. So I don't really even have a lot of time to myself. And then on top of that, I got a second job demoing for Pure Minerals. So if I'm not at my first job, I'm at my second job with Pure. So I haven't had time to film videos. I know it sucks and it's kind of a really bad excuse, but that is the reason. So, and I'm very sorry and I understand if people unsubscribe or they just forget who I am or they don't care. It's fine. It happens. Anyways, I thought I would come back with an exciting video for you today. Today I'm doing a palette comparison and the contenders for this video is the new Tati Beauty Textured Neutrals Palette and also the Jeffree Star Shane Dawson Conspiracy Palette. If you're new to my channel or you haven't seen one of my palette comparisons, I like to take two palettes and compare them to one another. Just kind of giving you all the details. I break down pricing, shipping, swatches, swatch comparisons of both of the palettes. I also do an eyeshadow a tutorial of each palette on both eyes and then also give my final thoughts. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. So just to let you guys know, there's a lot of talking in this video. I'll get some hate comments here and there about how I never shut up and I keep talking and talking. This is a full on comprehensive review. It's going to be a lot. I'm really going in depth. So yes, I do talk a lot. You know, there's options. If you don't want to hear me talk a lot, you can fast forward, you can play me at 10 times the speed or you don't even have to watch. I won't care. Anyways, before we get into this video, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button and we're just going to get into this palette comparison. So the first thing we're going to talk about is pricing of these palettes. So in terms of pricing, the Tati Beauty palette retails for $48 American. I live in Canada, so obviously there's a currency exchange. I'm just going to go into shipping and also taxes. So I paid $48. US for the palette, like I said, $6.95 for the shipping to get it to me to Canada, and also $7.14 for tax. So this ended up being $62 in US. Now, if you convert that to Canadian dollars and also depending on your bank institution, it cost me $83.23 Canadian to get this palette here. It's quite a bit for a palette, but obviously I can't go pick this up in a store yet. But for now, this is what it is. The shipping for this palette, they only had I think one option and it wasn't it was kind of a long wait it took two weeks to get here a lot of the time I had no idea where it was I had kind of an issue tracking it so the shipping was really meh like it wasn't the best shipping in the world but it wasn't the worst like I've had way worse Zoffel being one of them anyways moving on to the conspiracy palette so this palette in American retails for $52 and $70 Canadian. Now for the conspiracy palette, I picked it up in a Morphe store. So I didn't have to get it through shipping. I don't know. I've never ordered Jeffree Star online or Morphe. And then obviously I paid taxes for this. So that was like $9.10 for the palette. So probably it would be your average shipping. It would take a week and a half, two weeks for it to come, depending the business days as well. Anyways, now we're going to move on to packaging and some of my thoughts around the palettes. This Tati Beauty palette, you can kind of see it's kind of stained and a little dirty. I tried cleaning it with micellar water. Clearly that probably wasn't the best idea because this palette was so dirty. I've been using this palette already for a month, so it's gotten a lot of wear and tear, but that's a good thing. It's that soft matte texture, like that black eyeshadow palette classic kind of look. And then you open it up to see all the beautiful juiciness inside. You have in this palette four different formulas of eyeshadows. You have the matte, the sequin, the metallic, and then the glitter gel formulas, all in six different tones. This palette is called Textured Neutrals for a reason. I love the idea of this palette. I've been getting so much use out of it this month. I love the idea, the concept, and also the massive mirror. You can see me filming and it's dirty. 
Moving on to the packaging of Conspiracy, as you can see, this packaging is so unique. This is definitely a specialty item. You have at the front, Jeffree Star's signature like clasp, that's the trunk eyeshadow case packaging. And then on the top, you have that white and black spiral with that raised pyramid on the top with the Shane Dawson logo in the center. And then at the top of it, there's a little baby pink star and that's Jeffree Star's logo. I think this packaging is really creative and unique. Then you move on to the inside. So in this palette, it's pretty unique as well with their stamping. Jeffree Star likes to do like stamp logos into the shades. You have Illuminati symbols, you have his Jeffree Star logo, you have the Shane Dawson logo, you have a couple different pigs, a teacup, um, diet root beer cans, everything. You just have quite a few different stamping. There's a lot of different stamp logos so that makes it really fun and unique. And also there's a mirror inside which anyone can appreciate. Quickly, I want to address the issues this conspiracy palette has been having since the beginning of November since it released. There's been a lot of quality control issues. I got this palette from the Morphe store, like I said, but there's been a trend that people who've been getting palettes from, I forget what it was, Shop Beauty or Beauty, I forget. I'll put the name on the screen. I've never shopped from them, but this specific selling company, you could say, makeup retailer, has been having a lot of issues because they haven't been wrapping up their packages. So people have been receiving their conspiracy palettes all all smashed up, completely destroyed in shipping, which that really sucks. You open up your palette and all the colors are completely destroyed, mixed up, and it's all messy and you can't use it. As well, a bigger issue with a conspiracy palette has been people have been finding hairs, like full on large hairs in their palettes. When I heard about that, I went and scanned my palette. I threw the flashlight on, you know, I, I double checked that thing back and forth. The only place hairs should be is on my head or in my brows or my lashes. That's the only places I really want hair. Not in my eyeshadow palettes and not from other people. My palette was fine, but you know, apparently like only 12 palettes were bad out of the 1 million they sold. So I don't know. Sometimes I feel out of a million, obviously there's gonna be a couple issues with palettes and stuff like that, but the hair stuff, it's kind of scary, I'm not gonna lie. So now I'm going to be swatching both of the eyeshadow palettes on my forearms just so you can kind of see the textures, how the swatch is applied, the pigment, and overall the whole color stories compared to one another. Obviously swatches on the arm and the hand don't really do much justice for a palette when you're applying it to your eyes, but sometimes I just like to see the color stories and see how soft the shadows are. So I'm gonna insert the swatches here. So this is the Tati Beauty palette swatched. So these are the swatches for the Conspiracy palette. So now I'm going to zoom you guys in for the eyeshadow tutorial portion of this video. On this side, I will apply the Conspiracy palette. On this one, we'll do the Tati Beauty palette. So uh, let's get this going. I think on this eye, I'm just going to do a half cut crease. Shocker. You know what? They're easy. They look nice. And um, that's my reason for doing a half cut crease today. And I want to use the Trisha shade. So we're going to get into it. So I'm first off using the Tanacon shade. And I'm gonna be putting that all over my lid as my base. So I've already set my eyes for the shadows with just my concealer I've been using every day. I've been using the True Blend Undercover Concealer from CoverGirl in the shade M100. And I'm just putting that all over the lid. The matte shadows in this palette from what I've been using this month, they do have a bit of kick up the more you use them but they blend pretty nicely the neutral tones. So now I'm using the shade Pigment and I'm just putting that shadow, focusing it more on the outer kind of edge of my eyelid and slightly bringing it to the crease but not focusing it as much as I did with Tanacon, just to kind of build up that pink pigment for the cut crease. And I'm using that same brush that I used for the Tanacon shade. And quickly before I forget, I'm just gonna put some powder underneath my eye to catch the fallout. I'm just using the Fit Me Powder, one of my favorites. Now on a smaller, more dense, fluffy brush, I'm gonna be taking the shade Diet Root Beer. I just wanna kinda deepen 
my crease. Now going back in with pigment on top. Now on the same brush I use Diet Root Beer for, I'm going to take Not A Fact. And again, we're gonna deepen this crease out. Softly putting that shade there. Just using a pretty light hand. With that pink, it's turning really purple. Now what I've noticed with this Not A Fact shade, because I've used it a couple times already throughout this month, it's kind of a little bit more patchier than the other shades. And I find, you know, like dark eyeshadows will always kind of be a little bit more patchier than some others depending the formula, right? So now I'm going to create the cut crease on this eye I'm using a MAC 242 brush and we're going to swipe that on the lid and try to make my best cut crease ever. I kind of go slowly, I don't do it all at once. And also I don't like to cut crease my full lid because I feel like if I do, I start to look like Jessica Rabbit and that's not a look I'm going for. Now we're gonna go in with the star of the show, which is Trisha, and we're gonna put that all over the lid. Definitely experienced some fallout with that shade. And also I did with Not A Fact as well. Now to blend Trisha with the crease, I'm going in with Not A Fact again, and I'm just trying to stamp that over Trisha to deepen out and blend those edges. Now going back with pigment to blend out those edges. So now quickly, I'm going to put my pills on the brow bone just to kind of blend out all those shadows I kind of took up a little too high. And this is a pretty good shade for this eye look to do that with. And also before, the camera wasn't filming, but I did put food videos on the bottom lash line. This one is a pretty neon shade and it's a little chalky. I wanted to add a pop of color. Showing up, I really brought it down a little bit more so you could see that. So that's it for the Conspiracy palette. Now I'm going to move over to the Tati Beauty side and we're going to do the eyeshadow tutorial for that one now. So I'm first going to go in with Soothe and just put that all over my lid. What I've noticed with the Tati Beauty matte eyeshadows, they're very unique. Like they have like a soft, silky texture to them and you can really build them up. I'm now going in with Ritual and I'm putting that all over my lid as well, but I'm taking it more three quarters of the way and leaving the inner corner and the lid alone. Now quickly I'm taking Aura, the matte shade, on my finger and I'm kind of gently pressing that on the lid just to kind of map out where I'm going to put that sparkle. Now on a very, very small fluffy brush, I'm going to take Memory, the black eyeshadow shade, and I'm just going to kind of pat it kind of on the lash line. I'm just going to go back in with that brush I used Soothe and Ritual with and I'm just going to blend out Memory. These shades together make the eyeshadow look very cool toned, which I like. If you wanted to make this look be very warm, you could add Story from the palette, which is that burnt orange warm shade in that crease, and it would be more of a warm brown eyeshadow look. Now I'm taking the Metallic Aura shade, and I'm also going to be mixing it with the Metallic Soothe shade. And I'm going to lightly put that on my lid. And now with my finger, I'm going to take that Soothe shade in the Glitter Gel formula and I'm going to be putting that all over my lid. 
pat it in where I put those metallics. I use those metallics more so as a base. So definitely with a glitter formula, there's some fallout, but not as bad as other glitters I've used in the past. That's talking about like loose glitters with those liquid formulas, but it's a very nice like cool toned taupey beige eyeshadow look. And that's what I wore to my work party. So I thought I would recreate it here. Now I'm gonna take Aura in the matte shade and kind of lightly put that under my brow bone just to highlight that. And then on the same brush, I'm gonna take that metallic Aura shade and put a small amount in the tear duct. And for the final step of this tutorial, I'm gonna take the matte shade Soothe and I'm gonna run that through the bottom lash line. So now quickly, I'm gonna put some liner, mascara, and lashes, and then I'll be back to show you the final looks of both of the palettes. Okay guys, so this is the final look with lashes and liner. I really like how both looks came out, both dramatic in their own kind of fun way. Okay, so now we're moving on to final thoughts of both of these palettes. Let's start off with Conspiracy. So the way these shadows work, they worked really well. Obviously like that Trisha shade has pigment. Some of the deeper shades of this palette, like Not A Fact and also My Rides here, were a little bit more patchy when they applied. However, the color story, there's some critique there, you know, the transition shades in this palette and some of the neutrals are not deep enough for deeper skin tones. They're not going to work as a transition shade. You know, you might have to really build up that pigment, but they're not going to work as smoothly. And also, a lot of the pastel and light shades of this palette can look a little bit ashy on deeper skin tones. This palette has a lot of silver tones, and I wish they would have put a couple more richer tones, kind of like um, not a fact in there, like something similar in the same color story or like idea. Like a deep espresso brown would have been beautiful too. I just feel like there's a lot of those silvery gray shimmer tones in this palette that I'm probably never going to use, you know? You have those bright neon or bright colorful tones that look good on everyone, but the neutrals in this palette kind of fall a little short. You know, this is Shane Dawson's creation, so he wanted to pick the shades that he likes, but definitely like if I was creating it, I would have kept everyone's kind of skin tone and what works for them more in mind. And also if you compare that color story to the Tati Beauty swatches that I showed previously in the video, I noticed that the Tati Beauty shadows had such more richness. Like they were so much more pigmented and rich in tone. Like they would look amazing on all skin types versus, you know, some of the Conspiracy palette swatches can look a little ashy depending on those pastel-y, silvery shades. So that's just something to keep in mind. But I really did enjoy this palette and I love the eyeshadow look I created. That Trisha shade is gorgeous and I know I'll be using that in the future but anyways I love the way the eye look came out it was great now moving on to the Tati Beauty palette what I love about this palette is all the different textures of eyeshadows and all the different shade stories that come in all the different textures in this palette what really stands out as being unique is that glitter gel formula on the top row and also in that second row the sequin formula those two formulas I haven't seen in any eyeshadow palette I've used before and I've absolutely loved them like that sequin shade if you want to do like more of a matte crease and put a little bit of that matte sequin shade with a hint of sparkle it's gorgeous but that glitter formula too it doesn't fall out as much as other glitter products I've used in the past it's just a great everyday neutral palette and I'm gonna be honest with you I've been using this one every single day because the neutrals in this palette are so rich the matte formula as well is so creamy and smooth it has like a little bit of a velvet feel to them and they blend so nicely and you can really build that pigment on the eyelid now to kind of give a comparison between the two I like to give a little bit of a metaphor the conspiracy Conspiracy palette, I would describe as it's a Lamborghini. It's very unique. The outside, super luxe, super creative, just like it's aerodynamic. You open it up, obviously the interior is very custom, very special. It's not like my Hyundai Elantra at all. Like this is custom, unique, and special. But that being said, when you drive a Lamborghini, you can't drive it over big hills or speed bumps, and you definitely can't drive it in cold, snowy winter weather. You know, it's not very practical, it's not good for everyday use. So, that being said, it's beautiful, it's great when you can pull it out and go for a drive, but in terms of getting the most everyday use, 
not so much. Now, the Tati Beauty palette. I would like to think this palette, it's like um, Tesla Model X. Like the Tesla Model X, it is gorgeous. Like that is my dream car. It's fully loaded, but it's practical, you know? You can take the kids for a quick run. You can fit a ton of people in there. You can use it in summer, fall, and a Canadian winter when there's a lot of snow. It goes so fast, so quick. But like a Tesla, you have those cool features that maybe the glitter eyeshadows provide and also the sequins, but you have the practicality of the neutral shades and the mattes. It gives you a little bit of that excitement and that everyday use. However, if I was to only pick one of these palettes to use, I'm going with Tati Beauty. And it's for the fact that, you know, call me boring if you want, but I like my neutral shades. That's what I wear every single day, my day to day. That's what a lot of my clients want when I'm doing their makeup. They want neutral glam, they want that sparkle, but you know, they don't always want green or orange or like a really hot pink. They want something that's gonna stand out, but kind of let their inner beauty shine, you know what I mean? Like, And I've had both of these palettes for a couple weeks now. And I can honestly say, I've pulled this one out every day that I'm doing an eyeshadow look way more times than I have with my conspiracy one. Just because these are your basics, but it also gives that fun twist with those glitter shade formulas and all the different textures in the different color stories. I just appreciate really good solid shadows that I can get more use out of, especially if I'm paying 80 something dollars for the palette. Like I said, if I had to choose one palette, it would be the Tati Beauty. That kind of concludes today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I really hope you enjoy this palette comparison. And like always, remember, sub it if you love it. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Look at all this crap. You know what? You know what product gets wasted when you drink with lipstick or lip gloss on? It's such a shame. Like that's like, I'm wearing the Guerlain lip gloss. It's discontinued. I love it, but it's discontinued. That's probably like 50 cents of product on this cup right now. I really wish this was wine. I kind of look like one of those um, toddlers and tiaras with this hair today. Oh, better go sign myself up for a pageant. So the Tati Pew Pewty, Pewter, isn't Pewter a shade of something? I don't know.